Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just doing a video response to uh, Lawn Boys Post 1975, who asked uh, a question that I'm not going to be able to answer uh, because, well, let me explain. His question is, which horror movie scared you the most as a child? Now, we all have that movie where we all realize that we watched it a little too young. And for me, the movie is not a horror movie, although there's horror in the movie. And I wasn't ready for the deeper implications of what was going to happen in the movie. So let me set the scene. For those of you who don't know, long time ago, satellite television meant putting a giant frigging dish in your backyard. So we had, I believe it was a 24 foot dish or something crazy like that, sitting in the backyard and it would point at different satellites and you had to aim it at different satellites and then tune in on the channel on the satellite and that's how you got the channel that you were looking for. Now, the upside of this is that you got access to both east and west coast feeds so you could watch a movie and then two hours later watch it again. <clears throat> the other upside was that uh, if you wanted to, you could sneak down late at night and watch some movies that you probably shouldn't be watching. So, being the uh, rascal that I was, I uh, snuck downstairs, turned it on about midnight, and started watching, uh, and just flipped through, of course, the HBO, the Cinemax, to see what was going on. <clears throat> and got to a movie where there were two guys practicing swordplay. I was like, great! I love, you know, I, at this point I had just discovered uh, Final Fantasy and that I loved the fantasy genre. I loved swords and sorcery and all that stuff. And so I'm watching these two guys fight and learn and talk and a lot of it I really don't get. And it cuts away to a scene where the bad guy shows up and one of the good guys is gone the 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 Luke Skywalker guy is gone and the Obi-Wan Kenobi guy is there and they start having this sword fight in this castle and they're all over the place and they're fighting up and up and up and up and the castle's falling apart and then do you know do you know the movie yet and then, unlike Obi-Wan Kenobi, when the bad guy strikes the good guy down, his head goes flying off. And then lightning strikes all over the place. And then, to top it all off, the, the bad guy rapes the... Luke Skywalker's wife. Right? I know. The movie was The Highlander. And uh, Sean Connery and Clancy Brown, the Kurgan and uh, Ramirez, fought all the way up that castle, and then when it got to the end... By the way, if you think of it in another light, that is James Bond fighting Mr. Krabs, which is just fine. But that movie messed me up. Because never before in a movie, the bad guy, you know, the bad guy always won, but he, you know, he imprisoned people, or he, um, you know, killed you off screen, or put you in some elaborate death trap that later the true hero, Connor McCloud, would come and rescue them from. And at no point do they ever rape the wives of the hero. Which, of course, that's not shown, but it's heavily implied. And later the Kurgan brags about it. So, after that scene, after the scene where the head gets chopped off, I'm stunned. I can't... I can't look away. And then, when she wanders over, and he reaches up and grabs her, and I know it's about to happen, just by reflex, I turn both... the all the power off, run upstairs, dive under the covers. 
Now for years this movie haunted me and I had no clue what the hell it was. This wasn't until about eight years later that I was telling this very story and someone said, do you mean Highlander? I was like, I, I don't know. They're like, it's, it's one of the greatest movies. Go, go, go watch it again. And I watched it again and I was like, wow, that is the scene that really did a number on me. So keep in mind that it's not only horror that can really mess with you, it can also be just one horrific scene. Because my my little brain at that time was not had never seen just evil of that level at that point. I mean I you know Darth Vader choking people out, but he was choking people on his own side and he was kinda of, you know, it was all like ah, oh, oh and then they drag him off. You know, everything was done off camera. This was the first time that on camera that I saw like head lopped off. And then the implied rape scene. So that's the movie, the the horror movie that scared me the most as a kid. It just terrified me for years and years. And from that point I knew very quickly to kind of have the the channel change button on hand in case I needed to change the channel because things got too scary. Because while it did scare me, it didn't stop me from sneaking up late at night. Because along with the scary movies were the other movies, which were a lot more fun. Looking back at it, those probably should have scared me as well. But, anyways, uh, that's it for me. Uh, hope you've uh, enjoy this. I love the question. It was great. And uh, play on!